Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 where we last left off. We were kind of going through the tutorial missions, right? And I think this one's going to be fairly similar to the last one in terms of tutorialness. But uh, we have our squad here ready to go on a mission. We got Rookie Schaefer, Squatty Kelly who is our ranger. Uh, Rookie Fisher and Rookie Henderson, they all got grenades. They can't get any other gear so we may as well launch the mission. Let's go. And like before in last episode, we won't be speaking over any of the cutscenes because this is a new game and... I have not seen any of the content, so I want to hear it, if there's content. <laughs> Communications with resistance forces in the area have gone dark, which can only mean one thing. These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. We need to recover that converter at all costs. Sounds pretty good to me. <clears throat> The load times are a bit longer than what I'm uh, typically used to here. I do have an installed on my solid state drive, so I was hoping it'd be a little bit faster. But since these lights are coming on, I think we can press any key to launch. So we got uh, our group of four here. We still haven't had access. Getting a fix on the device, but it looks like it may have been damaged during the fight. Energy readings are going crazy. I'm guessing we don't have much time before it explodes. Oh, good. A timed mission right off the bat. working on a way to stabilize that thing, provided we can get close enough to access its core. All right, what do we got going on here? Uh, not a lot in terms of. Well, we can move behind these trees. I think that works pretty well. And then we will, of course, go into uh, Overwatch. And do we have anywhere we can move you? We do. We can move you up here. Perfect. And you will uh, live in Overwatch as well. This is not our ranger, so let's move. Let's move you up into half cover. That sounds good to me. You will live there, and this is our ranger who can uh, essentially do like a charging attack and uh, apparently slice somebody open with their sword. So kind of interesting to see that. <clears throat> Everyone was on Overwatch, so didn't run into anyone, though. This thing is not too much further up the map. Uh, let's keep creeping up here, though. Slowly but surely. And we are in normal mode. I didn't enable... Uh, I didn't enable anything in terms of, like, Iron Man, but we will be playing, essentially, Iron Man rules. We're not going to be, uh, save scumming for the most part here, unless something, like, really, really wonky happens, like, uh, oh, I don't know, like, the game crashes and, and we kill everybody dies or something, I don't know. The Advent officers oh, seem gosh. more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Commander, we have a chance okay. to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. Ah, seems legit. Moving out. So essentially what that's saying is, uh, kind of move everybody into a good spot, uh, and then put them... Oh, you have a shot right now, but we're gonna put you into Overwatch instead. And, uh, we're gonna do the same back here as well. So essentially it's just saying that, uh... Make sure you have everybody in position and in Overwatch, but take you before, rather you take your opening shot at the end of this. So we can move you up. You still don't have a shot, unfortunately. Uh, we can still move a pretty good distance up here. Orders confirmed. On the move. Still no shot, which is fairly surprising. You don't have a shot either anymore, so... Roger that. Let's keep moving you up. Okay, you got a couple shots now at least. Where can we move you? We can still move pretty far up here. Uh, maybe Can't behind this now. car here would work just fine. No shot. So, another round. Okay, so we got six turns until this thing is destroyed, which means we need to kind of kind of start booking it here. Potentially... Moving out. We move him up just so he's not too far behind here. This truck seems pretty promising to move people into Overwatch for. Alright, so they're just kind of chilling up here. That's fine with me. 
Whoa. Ooh, why are you yelling? <laughs> uh, let's move you up here. This should give you a height advantage at the very least. You can see one. Is there anywhere good up here? Potentially we move okay. you here, even though it is behind half cover, which isn't too, too great. Uh, move you up here Hold for sure. Now. Perfect. And then we should, we can. Move you right here, and that little symbol essentially is indicating. What do, why would you do that? <clears throat> uh, put you into Overwatch. Put you into Overwatch, and then I think we're gonna take our shot here. It's only a 58%, which could be much better, uh, but it is with a shotgun too. So let's go ahead and take it. See what happens. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take that all day, and they should. Kill confirmed. Right, so now we're revealed. They're going to start moving, which will hopefully trigger some good overwatches for us. Indeed it shall, and it will. That's really unfortunate. That, uh, was that a kill? Well, it looks like we got the officer down at the very least, so uh, I feel pretty good about that. Promotion earned. Congratulations and great job. You might be in a really bad spot here in a second, but it looks like they're just going to be falling back. That had to have been a dash. Oh my lord, it wasn't. Okay, it was a dash. Great. So you're burning, which is really unfortunate. Do we have a shot here? We absolutely do. 66% chance to hit. I think we're going to take that for sure. And that is going to be a kill for us. Pretty easy one at that. Got him. And then we, it looks like we have four turns to get up to this converter here. So I think we keep uh, keep keeping on, as it were. Uh, move you up just a little bit, not too much. And we're gonna, oh, we do have a shot. <laughs> halt. You are trespassing. 52% chance, let's go ahead and take it, see what we can get out of it. That's unfortunate for us. Mostly for him. Hey, yeah, take your cloak off. Maybe you see a thing every once in a while. Jeez. 54% uh, chance. Let's go ahead and take this one. All right, that's pretty fortunate for us. Uh, like clockwork is the achievement we unlock here. And he dropped an item as well. Uh, I think... Good to go. Let's go ahead and dash up a bit here. It's really unfortunate that you're still burning. Okay. You should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. I need a make kit here. Oh lord, still burning? Good lord. No! Commander, we're running out of time here. <laughs> and panic. Stabilize oh, the converter soon. I don't think anybody's going home today. <clears throat> what? Why? Why? Uh, three turns to do this. I don't see any aliens here, so I'm going to take a move. little bit of a riskier move. Uh, let's move you up. I definitely want to make sure we collect this. There we go. Advanced scope. Heck yeah. We'll take it. Got something new. Alright, where can we move you up? We can move you all the way up here, so I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Got it. A little bit risky. We don't have anybody in Overwatch, but it is a. Uh... Okay, you're still panicking, which is, which is great. Just great. Uh, I think. Let's see. How far can we move you up here? We can move you all the way up. So I think we do that. Oh lord! Don't even say you did that. That is annoying. I wanted you to move here. <laughs> oh good. And we trigger a pod. Oh lord. They are stronger than ever. With an even greater psionic potential. That is really, really unfortunate for us. Let's go ahead and try to move up here. How much damage do grenades do? How far can we throw them? Not far enough, it would seem. Let's go ahead and take a shot. 46, 45, we take the 46. Could have been better for us. Missed. And now what we have to decide here is how how do we approach this? We have half cover here, but it would give us a shot. 
Uh, we can move into full cover, but I don't think we would have a shot is the problem. So I think we, we got to kind of take one out here. Okay, yeah, okay, perfect. Uh, so we get a flanking shot here. We're going to go ahead and take that for sure. Four damage, we'll take it. Uh, pretty good kill. Pretty easy kill. We only have two turns to deal with this converter, which is which is a little bit scary. So they're going to be able to take an action here. Sectoid's going to move up. Don't shoot. What? Oh, Lord. Those psionics are bad. Uh, he's probably going to move into some cover here and probably could take a shot at this guy by the converter. No, actually. Ah, don't stop it. All right, so we have one turn to deal with this converter. You're panicked, which really sucks for us because you just moved into like the worst location you possibly could. Uh, at least you shot a car, I guess. Okay. We got to deal with this, right? Commander, the is near collapse. It's about mm -hmm. to blow. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and hack it. Looking for loose data. And then we will go ahead and do uh, enemy protocol. Let's go ahead and begin the hack. Well, we didn't do it, but we did uh, We did enough to complete the objective here. But we still, oh, we still do get a shot. Well, mostly normal. Firebrand is in route, but I wouldn't take any chances. Eliminate all Fifty-nine twenty-six. I think we go ahead. Let's see what other moves we got here first. I don't want to move up to this car, that's for sure, but I do want to move into full cover. And I'd be pretty, pretty okay with this here. Damage three to four. This is for you. Let's go ahead and take that. That's a guarantee. It's guaranteed damage. We can't pass that up. Perfect. And then, who else do we have here? We have Jane Kelly way in the back. Uh, but she's not going to be able to go. Uh, she's not going to be able to get anywhere that's going to help us out, really. Uh, potentially, if we move her up here, will she have a shot? Well, even if she doesn't, at least she'll be in full cover. She's not going to do us any good where she currently. Oh, she does have a shot too. Thirty-six percent. Let's go ahead and take it just in case. Hey. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Do we have anyone else? We certainly do. Uh, they can't move. 26% is a pretty... It's not great. 3 to 5 damage, 3 to 4 damage with a grenade. Can't hit with a grenade, so let's go ahead and just take the shot here. Hey. Sometimes you get lucky. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. There we go. Operation Dawn Stink. <laughs> Enemies killed Swin S7. We did have two soldiers that were wounded, which is pretty unfortunate. Rating excellent. Uh, didn't lose anybody, so all in all, counted as a win. We've got new records all around. Cover bonus 30%. Damage per attacks, root point test 6. Successful shot percentage. And it could have been much worse, right? We're definitely going to get at least a couple promotions out of it, which is uh, which is pretty fortunate for us. Having that shotgun, I don't know if we're going to keep the shotgun around. We might switch it out for an assault rifle until we get something a little bit better. So the range on that is just it's just awful. Okay, press any key to continue. We shall. We will. Oh, these loading screens. Ooh. There we go. Hey man, everybody could walk away from it. That's a win for me, as far as I'm well concerned. Promotions, Commander. I'm guessing Shad will probably want to have a word with you too. That's unfortunate. Okay, let's go ahead and promote these guys. Looks like we're gonna be Just getting like a sounds, sniper. Our sharpshooters engage Sharp shooter. enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. Ah uh, yes, yeah, squad. Oh, they start with squad sight. Yeah. <laughs> Heinrich Schaefer. Carry on, carry on. Perfect. And then what do we got over here? We have a 
operating some of our most advanced equipment. Specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty. Perfect. Uh, new ability, aid protocol command your gremlin to move to a friendly target. It grants that target a bonus to defense until the start of the next player turn. Oh, dig it. I dig it. Is that just going to tell me what it does? Yes, it will. Uh, as it takes effect immediately. Okay, perfect. Hey, man, that's pretty cool. All right, continue and continue. These items should prove useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander, I have made some interesting Ooh. discoveries as they relate to the implant we removed from you earlier. All right, continue. Why are you all just standing around? It's perfect. Come on, let's get it inside. Commander, the ongoing stress of combat can shake up even the best of our soldiers. As long as we keep them healthy, I'm sure they'll recover given time. Alright, so her will is temporarily reduced, but participating in successful combat missions and staying healthy will uh, essentially help her recover. Let's uh, take a look at engineering. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here... I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I can't promise any miracles, Commander, but I should be able to put some of the stuff together in no time at all. <clears throat> I'd suggest we get started with the med kit. It'll probably come in handy sooner rather than later. Yeah, no, I agree. I think I definitely want a med kit. Like it sounds good. <laughs> We're definitely going to need one. So much of my own research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander. Excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It it is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Alright, I see where this is going. Objective added. 
complete the Advent Officer Autopsy Research. Okay, sounds the Advent good. Officers have clearly been modified to allow for their so it looks like we got uh, new, new facility, Advanced Warfare Center, the Sectoid Autopsy, Advent Officer key. Autopsy. Okay, continue. Perfect. Sounds good. And I think what we do here is we go uh, for modular weapons and just ignore <laughs> all story progress. Uh, I think that's what's going to unlock our ability to add uh, add-ons, essentially. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Sounds Looks good. Like Shen got that converter up and running, Commander. Now let's go and view the soldiers. The Perfect. Oh, we do have another promotion, actually. Uh, let's go and promote you. Oh, Lord. Serving as our demolitions experts, the Grenadiers provide heavy ordnance delivery whenever and wherever we need it. Okay. Grenadier. Launch grenade. The Grenadier uses a grenade launcher to fire grenades rather than throwing them. This allows for greater range and grenade capacity. Carry on, carry on. Launch grenade. Perfect. Okay. You're wounded for 18 days. So we'll see you in like three weeks, buddy. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and get out of there. And I think for our sharpshooter, can we... Okay, let's, let's calm down here. Where's our sharpshooter? There you are. Uh, can we do a loadout by chance? Medkit? No. So yeah, we haven't quite unlocked the ability to add anything like the add-ons to our weapons yet. So that'll have to keep waiting here for probably uh, until the, the modular weapons research is done. Let's head back. It's gonna want us to go to the bridge, but first, let's New check out engineering. Let's build some There's facilities. There's to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander, but we'll need more engineers to clear out space for construction first. Mm -hmm. Oh, so we can't even like do anything here? Is that what you're saying? Okay, that's fine. Uh, so it looks like we gotta do a couple more missions before we can do anything else, but I think that's gonna happen next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, go ahead and subscribe. Till then, we will see you next episode.